I am definitely of the mentality that if it's old, it's gold, but I understand that not everybody has a local privately owned tackle shop in their backyard, and not everybody is in driving distance from an NFL CC meeting. So today on Retro Bassin, I'm going to show you some retro products that are available both online as well as the major sports retail chains. Stick around. But first, I'm going to crank up my Igloo Cooler Cool Tunes and drink a tab. Retro bassin, kicking some ass in wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about Bill Dance, watching these fish prance through my Ray Ban glasses. Ain't nothing better than 40 year old lures coming off of Zepco 33. Bass boat making beer cans float, doing some trespassing. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin. Oh man, it's the saccharin that makes it so good. <sighs> they actually made this until very recently and then discontinued it. So naturally, I scooted up the last couple of 12 packs that I could find, and I've been saving them for a special occasion. Whenever possible, I do love picking for some old school gold, but unfortunately, those National Fish Lore Collectors Club meetings only come around every so often, and honestly, I don't tend to find a ton of estate sales in my travels. I know some other bass and buds definitely have some luck with those. So whenever I'm doing some online shopping or hitting the big box outdoor stores, I'm definitely on the lookout for some new baits that have that retro flair. First stop I made last week was to Academy Sports. And if you're anywhere near the state of Texas, you know that uh, academies are more prevalent than McDonald's, which is awesome. There I saw something very unique on the rack, a display for some Rebel Lures in this little two-pack that I'd never seen before. This says exclusive color two-pack, and as you can see by the artwork, you get a pop bar and a wee crawl. I ended up picking up three of these, and I'll tell you why. It says, uh, this contains one proven color, a wee crawl, and one exclusive pop bar. Uh, look for three exclusive colors. So, there are actually three different color combinations of a pop bar and a wee crawl. And even though there's nothing on the box itself to designate which color's which, at least at the moment, they're not coming with tape. So you can always take a little sneak peek, which is what I did to get three different ones. So we'll open these one at a time and I will show you the contents of each. This is a really cool little two pack. First thing, each one comes with a nice little rebel slap featuring a wee crawl. And yeah, I've got to figure out where I'm going to stick this sticker, but that's a goodie. And then here are the contents of the pack itself. There you see a wee crawl and a pop bar. We'll take them out and take a look at both. Really cool wee crawl there in a nice uh, OG flavored orange color. It's got a little orange and red in it, some natural and blue at the tips of the claws. Yeah, that's a good, good looking little bait. And then our pop bar, man, they really knocked out of the park with the colors of the pop bar. So here's the first one. I don't know what the name of this. It looks sort of like a royal shad to me. It has just a little chartreuse on the belly a little orange at the gill, sort of a gill spot, and then a nice purple top. All around a really good looking bait. It doesn't say G finish on it, but that has just a little bit of G finish uh, sort of sparkle to me. All right, we'll get on to the second pack now. So here are the next two, another wee crawl and another pop bar. We'll start with a wee crawl. 
So a nice sort of a translucent natural brown color. Some brown up top, really pale sides, and sort of a washed out orange belly. Um, I, you know, I don't know if this is, I guess this is an exclusive color. It does look a little bit more washed out and faded than the uh, Rebel Wee Crawls that you see on the peg in most places. This would probably be a really good wintertime bait, actually, as those crawls are starting to get a little bit more washed out looking. But my favorite in this pack is definitely the Pawpaw. Check out that. Uh, nice little perch pattern of some sort. Green on the top. Um, silver sides with some red uh, slashes on them. Looks like the belly is just straight up silver. Yeah, but that's a uh, honey of a little poplar. And this one also comes with the same uh, wee crawl decal. Last one. So there we go, uh, another wee crawl and another pop art. I initially thought this wee crawl was maybe a duplicate of the first, but actually it is subtly different and I'll show you. This one is more of a washed out olive crawl. It's got a little bit more of a green on the top, even though the sides and the belly are pretty much identical to the last one. I'll do a little side by side so you guys can see. Uh, they are close, but definitely uh, no cigar on those two. They are different baits. I kind of like them both, though, to be honest with you. Oh. <laughs> Get a good look at that olive crawl. And then the pop are. This is probably my favorite of them all. Check out that guy. Really nice blue eyes, blue back. Uh, a little bit of pink in there with some check marks. I guess that's some sort of bluegill pattern. Pretty wild looking bluegill. Silver belly. Nice. A little tad break. It does get better with each sip. It's probably because your tongue's getting numb. Next on the little shopping spree for me was a trip over to Bass Pro Shops. I actually didn't go there to look for tackle or apparel. I was there to get some oil for the old retro wagon. But right when I walked in the door, a display hit me whew, right between the eyes. At the Cabela's I used to go to in Buda, Texas, there's always a bunch of apparel right up front. And there was a whole display of some OG inspired Bass Pro Shops hats. And the first one is this. <laughs> it almost looks like sort of a Green Bay Packers hat, but uh, that is definitely an OG Bass Pro Shops hat that I have seen before, um, but a little bit more modern. I think it's got some thin slate on the inside. And uh, <laughs> look how amazing that thing is. By the way, just full disclosure, I already got like four of these. I got like two for me and two for the kiddos. And this thing was available for $24.99 for that glorious hat. And the next one, and my personal favorite because I've got a bass tracker, was the OG bass tracker hat. Check that out. And if you're curious if this thing like just looks retro or it actually is inspired by an old hat, here's an original Bass Pro Shops hat that I've got, an old Bass Tracker hat, and a new one. <laughs> Isn't that wild? Old, new. Very similar. Um, I probably paid more for this one, to be honest with you. Needless to say, I was pretty stoked as it was, but before I could get back to the outboard oil section, I found a really nice display of bomber lures that I had to absolutely gobble up. Uh, you guys know I am a big fan of the bomber flat A, and I saw a full display of flat A's, which, by the way, I don't see too, too often these days, in some brand new colors that, eh, look a little retro to me. So these came in two different diving patterns. We've got the shallow and the deep. 
and check that out. So this one is called, what is this? Uh, Flat A Muddy Crawl. That's a good looking little bait there. And I also saw them in this one, deep and shallow version of it. And this is called the Mad Crawl. There's a third olive crawl pattern I got as well, um, but I already actually ripped those open and threw them in my old Umco tackle box. So that is pretty cool. I definitely scooped up a few of these and they were actually priced pretty reasonably. Um, I've got a feeling these things were under like five bucks each. And for an OG looking flat A, that is not a bad deal. Which brings me to my final package uh, of the episode. In addition to Hitting Academy and Bass Pro, I did a little bit of online shopping last week over at the Lornet Custom Paint Shop. For those who don't know, the Lornet Custom Paint Shop is definitely worth checking out. What they do is they take basically classic patterns of different Pragco type baits and they do ultra limited runs, 300 of some custom paint jobs. So I saw a few on the Lornet website. I don't know if they're still available right now, but I scooped them up and we'll take a look. And I think they also do like free shipping on any orders that are over like 25 bucks. And pretty much every order I make is more than 25 bucks. All right, we'll start off with some uh, interesting baits. So they've got this, which is a nice little shallow bandit in uh, a nice color. What is this color called? Uh, ba -ba -ba. Spring Hill. Sort of like a bluegill that's been really washed out, uh, almost black and white. And all the Lornet lures basically come in this same exact clamshell. That's why it looks a little bit big for this guy because they put the Zara Spooks uh, in here as well. Uh, next one I've got is this, which is another nice one from uh, Bandit. This is a deeper model, and what is the name of this guy? Uh, looks like this is a Bluegill Bandit. So just a straight up Bluegill, but a really good looking blue Bluegill. So really nice uh, side, sort of got the old pinstripes on it. A little orange on the belly. And when last I checked, both these baits were still available on the paint shop website. But the real reason I placed an order, <laughs> speaking of bomber flat A's, was this. So this is called a uh, Crackle Fire Tiger. And yeah, anything that's got the word crackle in it definitely is retro. We are actually going to rip open one of these because I haven't opened one yet. And we'll get a closer look at this bait for the camera. Oh. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Um, I actually posted a picture of this on my Instagram a few days ago. I am kind of surprised they still have any of these left. Again, they only make... 300 per color. So we'll look at this thing from all angles. <laughs> nice black on the top with sort of a little bit of flow green at the nose. Looks like the belly has a couple of orange spots. Orange right at the belly and also at the tail. We gotta throw this thing real soon. Well, if it's old, it's gold, but sometimes if it's retro, I say, let's go. And if you guys happen to have any hot leads on any vintage inspired baits or equipment, definitely drop a comment down below and let me know where we can do a little modern day picking. If you're looking for some more old school content, click right here. Otherwise, I'll see you right back here, same time, same place. And until then, keep the carpet side up and definitely fish it old school. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassoon.